respectable crack for a lemonade. Yeah, it is a lemonade can. And now for you to not touch it till you finish the Coke that you also <laughs> yeah. opened just now. Yeah, <laughs> look, it's fine. I mean, we needed we needed a can we to open. We needed a can to open on the thing. It's fine. I guess. Or something. It's tradition, damn it. Oh, I know, I know. It's fine. Okay. It's okay. important. Mucho important. Yes, yep. oh, hello, hello, everyone. Howdy. And welcome back to the full dark, no stars Riverdale podcast. Today, we watched episode 11. I, we don't know the titles of these episodes. No. Season 1, episode 11. <laughs> yeah, we, I know the number. Jughead Go Broking Edition. <laughs> but we're, we've entered Punished Jughead. It's time. true, it's true. Because... Daddy got arrested. That is like the big thing that happened this episode. There was so much little catty drama. Like loved it. Like sure, it's like it's entertaining, but like the catty, like like spiteful, petulant bullshit Mm -hmm. makes me irrationally angry. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. For some reason, my mind auto-corrected that to irrationally correct. <laughs> when people are just passive, passive aggressive at one another, I get bricked the fuck up. <laughs> passive aggressiveness makes me want to come. <laughs> the drama, the spice, the spice. Yeah. <laughs> no, the just like. It's just like, like, cause like the dinner scene. Yeah, it's just like, I just want to smack the shit out of everybody involved. <laughs> I can't. Smack, I feel like I'm like, the opposite, where I'm like, how can we keep this going? Like, it, it, like, don't get me wrong, entertaining as fuck. But like, if I, if I were amongst the, the individuals in this situation, I would just be smacking people left and right, cause. That shit, it, it irritates me on I a feel, fundamental I, I level. I feel like I would join in in a way where I'd be like, and you're stupid. Yeah. And you're stupid. I just want to be included. Yeah, you're but like, you're I'm stupid. not involved at all with your drama, <laughs> but I'm going to be, so. That's really funny. That's very good. Um, no, that was a good episode, though. Um, I was entertained. I, I had a really good time. time. You know, Juggy, Juggy all feeling bad now. He being a sad boy. He have he no friends no more. Boy. Mm-hmm. No more sad. He ain't got a daddy. Which, it does make sense that uh, FP was confused when they yeah. found that lockbox. That makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, well, it's like it was just behind like a clothes thing. and stuff, right? So it's like, yeah, Betty and I mean not Betty, uh, Veronica, Veronica and Archie, Archie. Archie would have been able to find that. Yeah, when they or like the house. You know, he wouldn't have looked surprised. Cause like he like clearly knew this was gonna happen, no, like, so he uh, thought he was in the fucking clear. Um, just... he's like, I got this, I'm good, and then he's just like, oh shit. But like, how do they know that that's the gun that killed Jason? I guess forensics would be like a certain kind of caliber bullet, whatever. Yeah, whatever. But like, also it's the prop they were using at the start of the show. Yeah, or they that. paid for that prop. They did. <laughs> it's like so the audience is gonna recognize the gun. I almost forgot what gun it was that um. It's the same prop that Betty had in her. No, no, no. That yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, w- which was um, which was uh, what's her name's gun? The music teacher's gun. Yeah. That's whose gun I thought it was. I was like, <laughs> why is she's it? coming back? Yeah. <laughs> she's back in Riverdale. She, she was the one that somehow killed. Ju- she um she domain expansion body doubled, and while she was making out with Archie, her body double shadow clone jutsu was like. <laughs> shooting jason on the other side of the river yes yeah that's what we're doing we got it we got it in one yeah <laughs> when cheryl had like five minutes of screen time this episode still good and she was chewing what did those she scenes. what did she call betty <laughs> i don't something smurfette Oh, what was it? The goths? It was like downer smurfette or something like something that something like that it was a good line <laughs> It was so good. I think my my uh, Cheryl scene of the episode mm-hmm. is at the at homecoming. It's homecoming, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, they were yeah, at homecoming. homecoming. And uh, Betty goes to see Cheryl. Yeah. Like, hey, what's wrong with Polly? Is it? And Cheryl just disses her and leaves. Yeah, she... I'm upset. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> she said, she failed. She flaked on me, and uh, that's the last time I do anything nice for anyone ever again. <laughs> And she just leaves. <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> Love really that good. for her. Also, her crying while Veronica and Archie were playing on stage. It was really funny to me. <laughs> Because they were just performing Kids in America. And then she just yeah. starts crying in the crowd. Crying. And leaves. And she's just like, oh my god, I love Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jimmy Neutron. My genius. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's where... That's not where the song came from, but that was, as a child, my first exposure don't, to that um, song. Uh, don't ruin the dream for me. Okay. <laughs> that's where it came is, from. That song is from Jimmy it's, Neutron. It's from Jimmy yeah. Neutron Boy Genius. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Nickelodeon film from 2001. I want to say it was 2002. Or was it 2000? Let me, let me, we're going to fact check. We're going to put a pin in this. <laughs> we have to be accurate. You yes. Know. Very important. Very important. Yes. Yes. It's all fine. It's all fine. Where is Jimmy it? Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, 2001. Ooh. Okay, so you were like... Yeah, I got it. Right on it. Right on the money. Directed by John A. Davis. So we're going to watch that movie. Grossed $103 million in the box office. I don't think I've watched that movie in like 15 plus years. So when, so when it came out? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's that would have been that. over 20 years over ago. Over 20 years ago, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I probably haven't watched it in about that same amount of time. Um... We should definitely watch it. It's mm. I'm pretty sure it's, it's on, on Paramount. Paramount. Yeah. yeah. It has to be on Paramount. Yeah. It's such an ugly movie, dude. Yeah, it is. It's uggo. <laughs> and like arguably the show is like I would say the show is less ugly ugly. <laughs> ugly. What the fuck is <laughs> that? Um less ugly. Yeah. Because I, they worked better within the limitations of having a TV show budget yeah. instead of a film budget. Mm-hmm. You can't like hyper render and shade the movie models and have them look any kind of good no it's like those models benefit from less detail you know what i mean yeah which is why i think that it performed better on the tv show it's too bad that i just don't like jimmy neutron i don't think that's too bad you're not missing anything I promise. It's another one of those, like, did Nickelodeon have a single actually watchable show? <laughs> like, in... and I know people hate me when I Look, say that because people I, will start listing shows. I know you don't like SpongeBob. Early SpongeBob is definitely a watchable show. If you can say that it's watchable, that's fine. Yeah. That's that's it's what like, you're asking if it, if they had watchable uh, shows. But, um, you know, I said the show, not okay. a season. Are you saying Danny Phantom isn't watchable? I'm not watching season three. <laughs> <laughs> why not? You know why not. <laughs> Are you saying my life as a teenage robot is not watchable? Don't, don't kid yourself. <laughs> no. No no amount of Jenny slipping can get you out of this. No, Jenny's great. Vex. Sure. What's sure her name? Can. What's her name? The, the queen of the cluster. Nexus? She's there. She's got like mommy energy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Anyway, um, everyone make fun of Darian. For how no, easy don't do he this. Is. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Any other show yeah. that I would list, you would list say no. <laughs> Are you saying iCarly isn't watchable? <laughs> okay, okay. So, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it has a banger anime opening thing. True. Doesn't mean. So true. Um, oh, man. So I know you'd say no to Angry Beavers as well. Oh, my God. I can't watch more than, like, five minutes of Angry Beavers at a time. Cat Dog is unwatchable. Cat Scratch is unwatchable. Rugrats is, like, not really enjoyable to watch. I know you hate Rocket Power, even though it's, like, a kind of a bad opinion. No, that's just the correct opinion. (laughs) (laughs) Are you saying the Wild Thornberries isn't watchable? Not really. (laughs) Like, you Uh, give me the option to watch, like, anything else. I'm going to choose anything else. choose anything else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can basically strick any of Klasky off the board. Yeah, yeah. 
And they Ginger's, don't exist. Ginger's good, though. Mm. Ginger's watchable. Mm. But it is. Mm. <laughs> There's so much drama. So so the other week, before you came over, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meg and I were watching As Told by Ginger. We skipped to like the later part of the last season. Yeah. With all the drama with her and Darren and everything. Yeah, yeah. And fucking Dodie. Man. Man. Everyone listening. Fucking the blonde haired girl, Dodie, Ginger's friend. She fucking sucks. She's an asshole. She's a pick me girl, bullshit ass. Like, fuck her. Is this is this the Riverdale? Of, uh, like, like, like just from the just from the. I think we watched like maybe five episodes that day. Oh my god. Well, because because it was like a sequence of things happening when starting with um the drama with. Dodi and and Dare and, and, oh. and all that shit, right? So that was it was probably about four or five episodes worth of, of shit to watch, and we watched through them. She's horrible. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it made me so. It made me. Is it angry. the girl with too much makeup? Is that the blonde haired girl I'm thinking of? No, no, no. Um, you're, you're thinking of Courtney. She's the good okay. one. She's great. Okay. Cor- Courtney's okay. actually peak. A queen. Let she is actually say peak. queen. Yeah. Dodie, Dodie's Ginger's <laughs> friend with like the the blonde pigtails. Oh, never liked her. She's a fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I never liked Ginger's friends. The entire friend group. Ma- like, Macy's fine. She's like she the, the glasses one. She's the, the, she's the yeah. She's the nerdy mm, one. No. She joins <laughs> band and it's really funny. Mm, no, it's fine. What were we doing with Yao and Nick? I think we were going to get the gold. I thought we were already doing that. We were packing up. We and then didn't... we started hearing things. No, it collapsed. We That's in. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. caved in. That's right. Cave in. That's fine. That's fine. Get me out <laughs> of this cavern or I'll cave in. It's, Is that a, a... it's a song. Okay. It's part of a song. Okay. <laughs> if there's anybody who could find a way out of here, it's him. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. We stop <laughs> talking and when we hear when we hear the voice. Huh? Mm-hmm. More people. Yeah, okay. Roger sounds hurt. Rogers will uh, limp through it if we uh, want to. If if he wants a cut of the overtime. I know those voices. You collapsed the damn tunnel. And opened up a big ass chasm. Oh shit. If this is if this ain't if this ain't the kind of stuff the boss was talking about, then I don't know what is. Uh, you heard the A-sayers? 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 I don't know what that word is. Would this be naysayers? I don't... Is that what this wants to be? It may... No, because I think you spell that differently. A sayer... Is it like someone who, like, surveys? A sayer. Okay. A person or company that tests a metal to find out how pure it is. Oh, okay. It's an occupation. It's a job. Ah. Okay, that's fine. It's his Final Fantasy job. Oh my god. We call those geomancers. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My mistake. Yeah. My mistake. Uh, no way, no how a river will s- with uh, samples like that in the soil wouldn't have rich veins of gold or silver deep down. I want to get close enough to make sure. Oh. 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 It's Mordecai. <laughs> <laughs> Don't demean this man. He just got here. <laughs> he literally just got here. You're gonna. No, but Mordecai's great. Everyone loves him. Don't you love Mordecai? You definitely like him more than Rigby. I don't like anyone in that show. <laughs> but that show's so good. <laughs> hot take i didn't like regular show guys you can be mad at me it's fine it's okay <laughs> it's it's a good show and you'll just you just don't see it it's fine it's fine yeah yeah this is the but, best character in the game uh, yeah period actually <laughs> this he's, is the best character he's kind in the game. of awesome as hell look how cool he is i kind of love him a lot when's his route <laughs> <laughs> period cancel all the rest of them we need to reboot the game. <laughs> and this is our sole romance option. <laughs> this is our kudzu of this game. We, f- we found him, ladies and gentlemen. Well, gentlemen, excuse me. What ladies yeah. are here? <laughs> what ladies? Damn, I see, I see. There's a blue jay and a golden retriever. 
Nate and Ben without a, a goddamn doubt. I guess we've talked. I guess we've, Nate has Nate's been, been mentioned. But he hasn't had a portrait no before. No portrait. So cool. Oh. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's, He's the best. He's so cool. He's the best. I love him already. <laughs> <laughs> He's done nothing wrong. He's best boy. Yeah. It's just... mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> he probably dabs in his spare time, you know? So, so it, well, do all birds dab? Yeah. Mm. Haven't you ever seen a dabbing bird? Yeah. They're just flying Wait, just in the a, air and then dab. Well, like. I, like, I like the ones that do like the dance, the... Yeah. Like, there's one, there's definite, I'm, I'm like 98% sure there's a bird that does its mating dance where it like moves its wings and it looks like it's dabbing. I'm pretty sure. And it's not you. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, uh, no point in finding gold if we're buried with it. If we blasted our way in, we can blast our way out. He sets off the blast. Oh, he set off the blast. Oh, huh. of fucking course he did. Mm -hmm. Ben? Nick cups his hands. What the? The dog's eyes go wide when he sees the light of Nick's hat in the darkness. In that barkness. It's just some of the foreigners. Wow. <laughs> Oh look at look at his face. Please, look. He says, oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, ah. <laughs> no, you ain't foreign, <laughs> you dumb piece of shit. Well, with the company you keep, you might as well be. <laughs> oh, he's racist. Let's go. He's super racist. <laughs> oh man. See, that's gonna be really embarrassing for him when I fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck are the foreigners doing up here? Up there. There's a that's a good goddamn question. Oh, are we gonna have to kill them now? We'll kill Ben. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep the bird. <laughs> <laughs> we keep the bird. We keep the bird. <laughs> Uh, this is this area of the mine is uncharted. What exactly do you think y'all are doing down here? Don't ask them that. Ask them if they know the way out. Settle down, Nate. Don't tell me to settle down. Rogers could be under the tr under the rubble if the rocks caught him. Look, I think I see bleed. To bleed. <laughs> yes, <you> bleed. <laughs> I think I see bleeding. I think I see blood. <laughs> I hope that's not Chris's blood. I uh, hope that's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's not blood. That's groundwater. The tunnel up here connects to the rest of the mines. I'm going to start saying that when I see blood on the ground. I'm just like, that's oh, just yeah. groundwater. That's just groundwater, yeah. <laughs> Period. You, like, accidentally cut your hand with a knife. You look at the ground. Oh, that's just groundwater. <laughs> when it's, like, clearly your blood, you wake up one morning and, like, a super terrible nosebleed. Oh, the groundwater. Oh, it's just groundwater. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. The Blue Jay looks overjoyed. We're going to be able to make it out of here. Ben squints and points a finger up at me. Now, that don't make no sense. How do you get here if in Annex is the mar Annex is? Mm -hmm. Annex is the marked shaft, but ain't nobody knows about it. Oh, there was a fissure in the rock that got overlooked. You were asked to dig this deep too, yes? By the boss. Yeah, that's right. So were we. Nick and I both turned to him, gobsmacked by the blatant lie he just told. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he told a lie. Love that. Go <gasps> off, yeah. <laughs> you just have oh yeah, because we were like, oh yeah, because we had like the question of, do you trust him? Yeah. It's fine. He's a man that just lies. He's a liar. All of these people lie. They're all liars. Sam doesn't lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ben probably doesn't lie. Okay. He's just upfront about being racist. That's true. <laughs> well, he was like saying that he didn't try to fucking nail Sam. 
when they were doing the hammer thing. That's circumstantial evidence. I don't know. It seemed pretty convincing to me. <laughs> I would have thrown the book at him. Bullshit! It is truth. He said, dig for deep, and we could for dinosaur bones. Oh, yeah, he's being he's being silly. Yeah. Said they can be found at the bottom of the underground rivers. Dangerous, but worth for us. Triple the pay. <laughs> Nate and Ben snort. Now that does sound a lot like him. Maybe you're supposed to be here after all. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love Benny Boy. Uh, <laughs> Nick lowers his voice. Don't provoke them. They have the tools that we need to get out. But what do we know about them? Can't tell you much about the bird, but that dog is fucking crazy. <laughs> Truth. If you try to do anything for him, uh, you'll just end up worse, uh, hurt or worse. Nick speaks up again. Is it possible to go back the way you came? We'd be doing that, uh... Wait. We'd be doing that already if we could. I told you we could. But we're not fucking doing it, asshole. <laughs> now, who exactly do you think you are talking back to me like that? Hey, did you forget who's leading this run? It sounds to me like you're forgetting to the objective of the job. We can barely do jack shit without Rogers, and we don't even know his condition. And I'm not going to die in a hole for your pride. You think I'm ever going to let you in on a job after this if you bail out, bail out now? Wake up, jackass. We need to get out of here. The foreigners had a uh, show up some way. Uh, somehow. I'm just ready for... I'm, I'm waiting for Nate to bury the pickaxe in Ben's skull. He's so done with this shit, and I wouldn't blame him at all. Now Ben's gonna survive this. <laughs> okay. No, no, you see, you see, he's the he's the star screen of, uh... <laughs> I don't know, that sounds very insulting to star screen. <laughs> no, no, because he, he's the coward that's trying to lie and cheat. And just crawl his way out of the gutter towards glory. But I like Starscream way more than I like Ben. I think Benny's far more fuckable than Starscream. What a bold take. <laughs> and I... there's way too much fan fiction <laughs> of women trying to fuck Starscream. That's true. Starscream <laughs> appeals more to women, huh? That's a good point. <laughs> I blame Legend of the Micron, or I think it was called Armada in English. Yeah. Okay. I blame Armada. that installment for all the girls going, oh my god. Starscream. Like, I've got a chance, like anime girl. Like, like any of the fucking Autobots, I sleep. <laughs> Starscream. Starscream? <laughs> oh. Megatron? No. Any of the other Decepticons that no one knows the names of? I knew oh. so many girls in college that loved Starscream. It's insane, dude. <laughs> it's nuts. Like, it's just Starscream. I'm like, I'm like, they all liked Starscream, and they all liked Kovu from Lion King, yeah. too. They like them either dreamy or pathetic. <laughs> and with yeah. Starscream, I guess it's like, why not both? It's really funny. I one of my friends, uh, he really likes pathetic men. Yeah. And I like, I like heard that out of the periphery of my like sound while I was doing something at my apartment because we had a bunch of friends over. Yeah. And I turn, I like stop what I'm doing. I turn to them. I'm like, you like Starscream, don't you? And they're like, Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, you are fucking basic. Basic bitch is the law. Yeah. Them. No. But he likes his men. A lot of he them. likes his men pathetic. <sighs> it's fine. It's, fine. <laughs> it's that simple. And here I thought the albino was dumb. Oh, gone. You have tools. We know way out. We not make obvious trade. Yes. We help one another. You must be the luckiest Oriental that sailed the ocean blue. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think someone has said that to me before. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit. <laughs> okay, unironically, I had someone ask me in college if the if they called me an Oriental, and I like did a double take, right? Because I'm like, wow, I haven't heard that in <laughs> some time. And they were like, well, isn't it offensive to call someone Asian? Isn't Oriental the... And I'm like... <laughs> And I'm like, I we're in just college. had a fucking brain hemorrhage <laughs> from what you fucking said to me. Are you kidding me? There's people out there like that that exist. What the hell? I was a little taken aback. <laughs> How did they get to college? <laughs> they accept anyone these days. Oh, I was sure they, we did. We do have the no child left behind thing. We do. We do. Much to the detriment of everyone around us. It's fine. It's fine. That's fucking horrible, dude. Uh, the bird crouched down to pick up a hand crank. He starts walking towards us, then suddenly stops. His mouth opens like he's going to speak, but instead he gurgles. 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 What? Ben pulls the pickaxe from his body and tosses it idly to the side of the floor. No! Wait, let's go. <laughs> no! Burn down. <laughs> no! We just met the best <laughs> character and now he's gone. And we got to savor him for so long. <laughs> no! And it had to be, he deserved so much better than Ben doing him in. Okay, but I wanted Ben to murder someone this entire game. I mean, I <laughs> we knew it was coming. <laughs> Homie's kind of psychotic. We all knew it. But why did it have to be someone so cool? It couldn't have been, like, someone lame. Did you want him to kill Yao? I mean, like, no. But I'd, like, I also, it might have been more impactful if it was someone that we were already attached to. Well, we know Nate. We've been we're, we're coworkers. We coworkers with Nate. <laughs> but what if it was like one of the one of the bros, one of the mining bros? Oh yeah, the Sonic characters. <laughs> yeah, the <Yeah>. Wolverine. <laughs> the Sonic <laughs> characters. <laughs> well, yeah, with the voice I gave Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I love that. <laughs> I told this man to listen. You mo mongoloids. Mm -hmm. He's really reaching. Yeah. He's pulling that's a, words. That's a big word for someone like that. <laughs> he really doesn't know what it is. He probably just heard it somewhere. <laughs> you think James said it? <laughs> you mongoloids. <laughs> probably. You knuckle-dragging mongoloids. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> probably so. That's probably what he said. You mongoloids really think you're slick, don't you? You really think I'd fall for a stunt like that when plain as day I see the goddamn Latch wearing his cap? Latch? That's the, um, the, 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 um, peoples that he is. Oh, He's been referred yeah. to that as before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't <laughs> think it's derogatory i think it's just like where he's from it's derogatory now i mean i guess <laughs> said yeah. by benny true <laughs> briggs would not allow that briggs does not want you he can't use you he knows it you know it i know it <laughs> Poor old Nate didn't seem to know it, but he was too busy insulting everybody to know when he's burned up all his goodwill. You're all up to something. Now, I might not know what it is. <laughs> this is the end of this man. If, if we're getting an option, we are killing him. <laughs> there's, there's, I'm just gonna there, tell you right now. There's something about like him being all angry Angie. and then going, "I don't know what yeah. you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, <laughs> but I know something's happening." Oh <laughs> is, my uh, god, is pretty good. Fuck this guy. But it's pretty clear that it's criminal and against the interests of the CSCG as a whole. You just killed a man. Nope. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Well, he said no. He did. He said he didn't. Hey, you know what? <laughs> His word against ours, right? <laughs> Damn. Jesus. <laughs> We have no proof he killed a man. I suppose he said nope, so that's ironclad. Oh my god. I cannot with this guy. Two foreigners and an albino just killed a man. Damn. He's calling Sam an albino. A handful of characters have done that. It's just a white furred animal. <laughs> white. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But they panicked and squabbled over uh, whose fault it really was. And the only man with the tools to get out of this mess waited for them to take care of one another until he could claw his way out. I can promise you that the story that makes it to the papers, if you ever get to see him. Why would you care so much about legality? So, you're smarter than you sound. Or I guess I could say dumber, since you just let me know I shouldn't underestimate you anymore. Why waste sur why waste surreptition on a violent killer? You are a force of nature. Only strength or will can break you. You could try and rush me for the tools. Uh, he takes out a pistol. He's got a gun! Oh! <laughs> why does he have a gun? He's always had it. <laughs> oh, I'll turn down the TV. That sounds, oh, sounds loud. I love the gun music. <laughs> the gun. That's the gun music. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was like an audio track of someone screaming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he is. Look at Nick. He's screaming. <laughs> I think that's why I got <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're, we're good. Oh shit! <laughs> you know that you know that out of context panel from Hellboy. Which one? <laughs> the monkey with the oh, gun. Oh, the monkey with the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's like There's a, a monkey. monkey. He's got a gun. <laughs> That's so good. I never want to learn context for that. It's just oh, it's so good. I mean, it's Hellboy, so context. So, so it literally help. doesn't matter. <laughs> You're here to just enjoy the ride. It is what it feels like when you read Hellboy. Yeah. I mean, Hellboy is an enjoyable ride. It is. It is. Yeah. Every time. But I don't much care for your chances. Yeah, after all, I could just miss and bury us all. Or I might be a good enough shot to get you all at once. Oh, my God. Eh? What are you going to do? Like, turn the bullet? Yeah. <laughs> He's from that movie Wanted, where he knows how to bend the bullets. He's is, got that, that, is that a thing? Yeah, there's like okay. a like it's like a skill that you have, like it's like a family bloodline trait thing. I think. I don't know. It's a it's a Kekai Sensen where you can bend the bullet. Kekai <laughs> Sensen. Okay. Or no no no! I was thinking Geki Geki King. The, the, Fuck! You messed me up. <laughs> the the carrot pan pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the carrot pan pie. Yeah. Keke Genkai. Yeah, the carrot, the carrot pan pie. <laughs> oh my god. Tension ruined in this yeah. scene. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Look, that's why you all come here. We know. It's oh fine. shit. Let's get serious, I guess. Uh, no, never. Ugh. So what do you want, then? Was I not clear? I want you to try to kill each other. Oh, my God. Death game yourselves. <laughs> While I watch you jack off. <laughs> oh, my God. I promise I'll let the last one of you live, since I need you <laughs> for the way out. We're not going to do that. Maybe not yet. But I have a feeling we'll all start to get a little desperate after a few days in here without food. He's literally insane. He's playing this long game, though. Oh, I realized what the music is. It is yeah. someone screaming. It's it's him. <laughs> it's our little guy. It's our little guy. <laughs> it's our little guy. <laughs> He's screaming. That's the music. <laughs> okay. Unless y'all have a good enough reason to turn on each other. 
maybe y'all are here because you found something. A whole treasure and is a lot nicer than one third of a treasure, right? I think for a moment that another cave-in is about to happen. Something <gasps> big. Yes! Look at him! This is the other thing that I wanted to Look have happen. Look at this! Look at... Oh, he's Corcus! Corcus. From Berserk. Oh my god! It is. Because of how Corcus died during the eclipse. Yes! Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. go. Very good, very good. Something big and stone-colored dangles from the ceiling, dropping behind Ben like a boulder. It's only when I see the legs extend that I realize it looks like a belly. Oh, belly. This is awesome. We all stare. The thousands of socketless eyes stare back. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's hanging out. He's just like, like crawling a little bit into the light, you know? Yeah. The the lighting on your like little monitor is not it's very dark. Doing it doing it quite as well as the TV. Yeah, it's a little dark. It's very good though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel the uh, scream of yeah. I feel the scream about to escape my throat as Yao covers my mouth with his paw. Ben smiles a sickly grin from ear to ear. Oh, he's gonna snap his little neck. I'm ready to. I wonder if we're gonna get a CG of him being violently ripped apart. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> I wouldn't. Then I'd have to edit it. Oh, true. <laughs> Are we already starting? I realize that if Yao wants to snap my neck, he could. But he doesn't. He was muffling my yell. <laughs> but as Ben waits, that... Oh, Edpa. Oh, okay. Uh, then notices and turns to see what's what we're looking at. A horrible noise escapes him. Oh, mother of God! Well, okay. The dog recoils, stumbling over rocks and twisting his ankle before falling into the rapids below. His screams turn into a gargle as he's sucked under the water. If Ben isn't what kills us, it might be this. But it's not coming after us. And it uh, doesn't go under, under, to, uh, under the water after Ben. It walks up to... Uh, to what we think is the corpse near Nate. Corpse of Nate, yes. Most of me is uh, horrified. Another part of me is raging with hatred for myself and the monster in front of me telling me to go. But another part of me wants to see what it does. <laughs> wow. You know what? Respectable. I, yeah, you know. Respectable. Gotta get that vine. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, this is gonna do great for my numbers. He pulls up his phone. Uh, wants to understand the workings of something it shouldn't know. After all, whatever it, whatever is before me might be divinity of a kind. But I feel Nick's burly arm grab me and bring me back. Yao runs behind the thing, grabbing a pick and hand screw before coming back to us. It doesn't chase him. It doesn't seem to notice him. But for a moment, all of the eyes look at me. Are we special? Mm -hmm. Are we going to get to see it? Look at his Ooh. It's like stars. Stars. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's like a bunch of stars. This is not full dark, no stars. No, this is many stars. This is many stars. That was really cool. Yeah, it was neat. It was neat. And I close mine. I feel something huge grab onto my onto me from behind. It's leathery and warm. Sam, we have to go. I open my eyes. There's nothing there. Nick's paws on my shoulders squeeze me tighter. Do oh God. My voice is hoarse, like my throat is all scratched up by sandpaper. Where'd it go? It went into the water. Without a splash? Yo shakes his head. It was silent, like butter melting over a hot surface. Is that silent? Like when it's not like hot enough for the butter to sizzle. Like okay. when the pan's heating up still, the butter melts silent. Okay. And then it starts to no, bubble. No, I, I always wait for it to, to get heat up first. Rip I roaring hot. I want it. You want that. I want to hear that sizzle. Mm, mm, mm. Respectable. I respect it. 
I mean, you know, you you toss the pan a bit and mm -hmm. you like, skate around. Mm -hmm. But but like the best way to make scrambled eggs is by putting in cold butter and then constantly whisking it while it heats up. That's I don't make scrambled eggs. Well, then that sucks for you. <laughs> All right, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate behavior. I steam my eggs. I know you do. You know what? That's fine as well. I prefer mine fried. That's personally. Fair. That's fair, yeah. With a runny yolk. How do you all like your eggs? Tell yeah. us. Tell us. Are you a scrambled, sunny side up? Do you steam your eggs like I do? I make very good scrambled eggs. I've been told mm -hmm. this. I'm very good okay. at it. Okay. But it was huge. And that is why we need to go. They both mm. grab the sides of my arms and lift me up. But where the hell are we going, Nick? Ain't nothing gonna make that monster let us alone. Wait, ain't nothing gonna make that monster, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let us alone if we uh, spend our time here moving rocks. But that is the only way out. Isn't that right, yo? The tiger head crossed his arms, saying nothing. He looks like he's thinking. You're quiet, yo. There is another way out. My heart raises, rises in my chest, and both me and Nick let out a huge sigh. We're gonna be okay. Nick hums and looks to the side. Now it looks like he's the one thinking. Yo, why did you not say so earlier? The tiger doesn't answer again for a while. Because it is dangerous. More dangerous than waiting here? Probably. Nick blinks. But why? The tiger stretches and then clasps his hands. Pause. Mm -hmm. Pause. Pause. Huh. <laughs> he does have those. He is an animal. He does. He does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like saying hooves in every pony. <laughs> it's true. It's just, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Very astute. Very good. <laughs> That's correct. I'm like, they said pause the whole game. They did. My mind. I mean, just... you said claps his, and, you know, usually hands is the hands. first, <laughs> usually followed by cheeks, and then pause <laughs> being the third thing. So I understand you had to get through your hierarchy of thinking first. The tiger stretches, turned around, and started yeah. clapping them cheeks. <laughs> He probably has some good cheeks. Yeah, he can probably like yeah. go a little plop, plop. In front of him and behind him, Nick raises his tone. Yo! The tiger stops and lets out a breath of air. Then he nods as if determined to do something. It goes to the bottom of the mine. Then that's when... So that's what he meant when he said he knew what was at the bottom of the mine. He's been there. But why couldn't he bring it up before? Especially when Nick was struggling to believe there was anything wrong down there. What do you mean, the bottom of the mine? We've been on the level below this before. Yao shakes his head. They keep telling us that they are going to go lower. But I told you that they keep putting it off. You never told me that. Perhaps not explicitly. The tiger and the badger stare one down for a moment. Stare one down? Okay. Probably meant one another down, but that's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. But finally, Nick shakes his big head and breaks the tension. Fine. Just tell us everything that you know. He closes his eyes, leans to the side, and stretches his neck. Then he opens them and begins to speak. You remember our conversation about the strange shape of the tunnels. How they're curved and snaky rather than lined into rows. The tiger clears his throat. Right. I believe that the odd tunnel shapes in this mine does not just come does not come just from a desire to confuse us. I believe that they also wanted to explore as much as they could they could to maximize their capacity horizontally rather than vertically. And he adjusts himself, takes off his hat, and then 
to wipe the sweat from his brow, then lifts it back on, fits it back on tightly. Perhaps past that capacity, since our lives mean little to them. But I know that they dug deeper once. Because I found it. Something about being down here in the dark is making it hard to focus again. I don't know if it's the panic setting in, or just the fatigue from the thinning, thinner air. But there's a numbness filling my body. <laughs> like I'm here, but also like I'm not. I'm also feeling like a waking sleep. And still, both Nick and Yao are acting awfully indecisive for two people in danger. <clears throat> Hold on. This does not make sense to me. Why go deeper if we want to get out? Yao crosses his arms. Because it leads to the Hendrix Manor. That only makes Nick look more confused. Why would it lead to the manor? It is not the only part of the mines that leads to the manor. But I have some ideas. He looks at the badger again. Do you not? But that would mean that they knew the gold was here. It does. But they do not have us extracted? It does not seem like Ben's people have been here before. The muscles in his back shift as he's as he changes his posture. I have a feeling they may not as well. Have not as well. Extracting this gold seems like something the bosses want to do as 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 little as possible. You'd think it would be the other way around, wouldn't you? You would think. So why? The creature? I do not think the presence of the Christian devil himself would dissuade Briggs and Hendricks from their gold. But Ben, Nate, McKinney? Those were Briggs' men. They hold no loyalty for Hendricks. But you're saying this tunnel connects to his house. His property. Surely James has to be in on this. Yao shakes his head. I do not think he knows this connection exists. Nick rolls his eyes. That's unlikely. He doesn't speak what he thinks like... What he thinks like Briggs, but he's just as twisted. You misunderstand me. I do not think this land would be undisturbed as it is if James knew. Briggs doesn't uh, tell things to James. They both turned to me for breaking my silence. He said... Your daddy was better. <laughs> good. Hell yeah. The best line in the game comes back. It's a good line. Very good. Very good. And when he stormed out of the uh, of, of the office a few days ago. A few days ago. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was just a few days ago. Just right, chat? A few chat? days ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe his father knew things that were never passed down. Sam. What, Nick? You do not sound so well. I don't feel so well, Nick. Nick puts his hands on his hips and frowns. What is the fastest way through, Yao? Yao shakes his head again. If we are brisk, we can make it through the bottom of the mine in two hours. Then let's go. I would feel better if we came to a compromise. We don't need to talk about this anymore. We need to get Sam out of here. What sort of compromise? Simple. There are three of us. Two of us want to make take a different course of action. Break our tie, and I support it, and I will support our decision. Is that okay with you too, Nick? That is fair. Okay then. Very good. I vote to stay behind and use the tools to clear the cave-in. I believe this is the best choice, because we will be able to carry our gold with the least risk of suspicion and the fewest environmental hazards. I vote to go deeper into the tunnel. It is the fastest way to get you to safety, Sam. I am strong enough to carry the gold, and I will make sure neither of you get caught. 
Let's go! Oh, what is choice? We don't get that. We don't get choice. What do you mean? We don't get choice. <laughs> Your chases were made for you You're... before you were born. Oh, so good. Oh. That's really good. I kind of wish. What would you have chosen? I probably would have chosen to clear the debris with Yao, honestly. Okay. Okay. I probably would have chosen that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but the fact that that we only can choose to go deeper means that my choice was probably the right one. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> mm, I'm just saying. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm, I'm just saying. Okay, so which one do you want? Um... Let's go with the bottom one. The bottom one? Yeah. The deepest one. The deep. If we're going to go deep, we're going to go deep. <laughs> Balls deep. Man, we are going full dark. Full. No stars. We're going full deep all stars. Oh, my God. <laughs> the words leave my mouth like a cold breath. I think that's uh, what I want to do. But it feels like my body is going through the motions that it has to do has to just to get out of here are you sure that is what you want to do didn't you say you'd be fine with what we did if we put it to a vote i did very well will not drag my feet thank you you can tell us where to go if it's dangerous as you say then i'll go first and light and my light will guide you help you guide us you do not have to do that and Nick turns around, face to face with Yao. I do. He's breathing hard, his chest heaving up and down. You are the one who knows the way out, not me. Yao puts his paws on Nick's shoulder until his breathing slows. Okay, friend. Sam needs to get out. That's what matters. We are all getting out. That is what matters. I don't hear Nick breathe at all for a moment. Then I hear it all let out in a huge sigh. You are right. I am sorry. I understand what it is like to feel you have to save somebody. Save yourself first. He looks at me. Afterward, you can save him. I will not let you die here either. I do not think we will. We just have to be careful. He really looks like he could use a cigarette now. <laughs> well, we all probably do. Straight ahead, there is an incline next to a running water. It looks like a pile of dirt that leads to the cavern wall, but there is a turn at the bottom that follows the running water. There will be a tunnel there that looks like a natural rock formation. But if you shine the light in the dark, there will be support beams and columns embedded into the rock. That is the first part of the way through. Nick shines a light into the cavern. I can see the incline, but not the tunnel. It's well hidden. Why did they hide it? They might not have had a choice if they felt this was the safest way to travel, based on the types of minerals in the wall and the natural stress points. But who knows? If it was built by the first James Hendricks, it would have been built nearly three quarters of a century ago. The incline isn't something we can just walk across. We'll have to use our paws and feet, okay, to move across. Hold on. Nick takes off his shirt. Cool. For reasons. Very important. Tie the ore bags together with ropes so I can climb with them on. Nick, we're climbing over running water. I'm aware. If you fall, you'll be dragged to the bottom of the lake and drown. I'll kiss Ben for you if I see him. Very good, very good. I'm not joking, Nick. We could all share the burden. Three bags each. No. I would rather have two of us live and have a chance to live than three of us drowning with certainty. Hmm. All right, all right. Well, I think we'll end the part here. Okay, that was exciting. It's so uh, exciting. We got to see a friendly boy. Yeah, and then he got wrecked. -ed. I wanted to think that the, that the spider creature went into the water to have a little watery Benny snack. Oh. 
little watery Benny treat. <laughs> little crunchy Benny treat. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, we'll we'll see you guys around.